Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Mickey Mouse. Hey, everybody, it's me, Mickey Mouse. We're going to meet my friends Mickey. Say, you want to come inside my clubhouse? Minnie. This is going to be a special day. I just know it. And Goofy. Why on our adventure. They're so excited to see you. Oh, it's so nice All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. Close your eyes. Mickey and Minnie Mouse are standing in front of the fairy tale castle waving you hello with their puffy white hands. Hiya, pal. Welcome to the castle. I'm Mickey. You run along the cobblestone bridge and jump into a big mousy hug. Both of them squeeze you tight. Yeah. Mickey and Minnie are so happy you are here because they have a special surprise just for you. Mickey is holding something in his white gloved hands, but you can't see what it is. With a big smile, he holds his hands out towards you, and in them is your very own pair of mouse ears. Holding them out for you to see, he explains that these are just aren't any mouse ears. These ears are only for their best of friends. Oh, what a wonderful friend you are! What is so special about these ears? Mickey can tell what you're wondering. He then says, The magic words, Mishka, Muska, Mickey Mouse. The ears suddenly begin to sparkle as if from the inside out. It looks like little quiet fireworks are bursting out of them from all sides. These new ears of yours are made of magic. Once you put them on, you will be able to make even your wildest dreams come true. Mickey reaches out and gently places the ears on your head. As the cap snuggles in around the top of your head, a calm feeling trickles from the tip of your mouse ears down to the bottoms of your feet. You too are made of magic and every dream you have in this world and others can come true with your magical touch. Minnie holds out her puffy white gloved hand with a giggle and says, It's you! <laughs> you then skip hand in hand with Minnie Mouse through the towering gates of the enchanted castle. Here's a kiss to send you on your way! And into Disneyland. After you pass through the gates, you slow your skip with Minnie down to a stroll as Mickey catches up with you. The three of you stroll pleasantly down the wide open walkway. The late afternoon sun is shining softly and puffy white clouds float by in the wide open sky. Minnie releases your hand from hers and leaps out into two big twirling spins. Her arms are outstretched like wings and her red polka dot dress whirls around then settles back down with each turn. Giggling, she asks you to try spinning with her. It looks like she's having a lot of fun. So you leap out with your strong legs, hold your arms outstretched to each side, and do two twirling spins in the sunshine. Twirling is one of Minnie's favorite things to do when she's happy. And she is so happy to be here with you. Minnie stops suddenly. She knows just what to do. She says, let's spin around and around on the teacups ride. You excitedly agree and skip over to them with Minnie and Mickey. <laughs> Once you arrive at the ride, you can see all the colorful teacups. There seems to be one in every color. Minnie says to carefully choose your teacup color. Her favorite color is yellow, like her shoes, so she skips over to a yellow teacup, opens the little swinging door, and plops down. What is your favorite color? 
Walk up to your favorite color teacup, open the little swinging door, and hop in just like Minnie did. You are sitting down like you're in a chair with your feet flat along the bottom of the cup and your mouse ears held high. There's a wheel lying flat in the center of each teacup that will spin it, so you place both hands on it and get ready. You look around and only see Mickey looking back at you. Uh, well, uh, here we are. Who's going to start the ride? The little quiet fireworks that burst off your magical ears remind you that any wish you have can come true. So you close your eyes and wish that the teacups would start spinning for you and Minnie. Just as you wish, the teacups start humming with activity, waiting for you to twirl them. The more you spin in the inner wheel, the more the teacup will spin you around and around. Use your arms to grab along the top of the wheel and pull it strongly towards your belly, spinning it in a perfect circle. As you repeat that motion, the teacup gently whirls you around and around in its own perfect circle. You feel the warm breeze blow against your face and hear Minnie Mouse giggling with delight as you twirl around and around. Give the teacup another couple of spins. Reach your hands up to the top of the wheel and strongly pull it down towards your belly. Reach your hands to the top of the wheel and strongly pull it down towards your belly. You feel yourself smiling big, enjoying this moment with your friends. The teacups slowly come to a stop. Minnie jumps up and out of her yellow teacup and skips over to where Mickey is. You stand back up, a little wobbly from all your spinning, and open the little door again so you can hop down onto solid ground. Hope you're having a great night. Focus your attention on planting your feet sturdily on the concrete to balance yourself. Your strong arms were able to spin you around and around just as you wished, and your strong legs now hold you up tall. With balanced steps, you walk back towards Mickey and Minnie. There's a small grassy hill just ahead of you so you all walk towards it. Once you arrive at the hill, you take your first step onto the squishy earth and the fresh smell of grass fills the air. You walk squishy step by squishy step to the rounded top of the hill. The grass is so lush and soft that you just have to lie down. You plop down and let your arms and legs flop out as they will. Let your body sink into the soft green grass that pokes up all around you. Mickey and Minnie plop down too. You all face yourselves up to the sky. I'm so proud of you. You just keep exploring and exploring. The late afternoon sun is shining softly down on you and puffy white clouds float effortlessly by in the wide open sky. Close your eyes and take a big breath in through your nose. The sunny air fills your chest and your belly expands with its warmth. Then breathe slowly out through your mouth, allowing your belly to relax and giving warmth back to Mickey and Minnie's magical world. <laughs> your eyes open to see a big puffy white cloud floating across the sky. As you watch it, you begin to see the rounded curve shift around right before your eyes. The cloud is in the shape of a heart. Mickey and Minnie stare and point in awe. As you watch the heart cloud float by, feel the ability in your own heart to make all of your dreams and wishes come true. Mickey exclaims and you look in his direction. He's pointing at another cloud that is rounded like a perfect circle with the middle cut out. That cloud looks like Mickey's favorite ride and he says it's giving him an idea. He jumps up and says, Ready for some fun? I'm ready when you are. As you use your arms to push yourself up off the grass and stand up, you look back down at your spot in the grass. 
You left an imprint of your shape on the grass that seamlessly includes your magical mouse ears around the top of your head. You are a very special mouse friend in this magical world. You and Minnie jump up and follow him down the grassy hill. Mickey's waiting in his bright red convertible tune car. You can hear the engine quietly humming as you open the back seat door and jump in. Ready for some fun? Minnie sits down in the front seat and shuts the door. You three zoom down the wide open walkway. Sitting in the tune car, you are now moving quickly through this magical world of Disneyland and you notice something interesting. You zoom past stores and restaurants, past ride after ride. You turn corners to zoom down another wide open walkway, then another. That's when you realize that there are no other people here. Do you have this whole world with Mickey and Minnie all to yourself? You wonder as you continue to zoom, with a honk of the horn, the tune car comes to a stop. Mickey points his puffy white gloved hand up. You look in that direction to see the biggest Ferris wheel you've ever seen with Mickey's smiling face in the center. Wow. The top of the wheel seems so tall that it could circle through the clouds before coming back to the ground. Mickey hops out of the tune car with you and Minnie following and you all run excitedly to the entrance of the Ferris wheel. Standing directly below it, you feel teeny tiny. Mickey hops into one of the seats and invites you to sit next to him by patting his puffy gloved hand on the seat next to him. You run and hop in, settling in comfortably next to your friend. Minnie sits in the seat right behind you too. You and Mickey look back at her to smile and wave, and she smiles and waves back. I'm just so lucky that I get to be here with you today. <laughs> the little quiet fireworks bursting from your mouse ears burst a bit bigger, and you wish not only for the Ferris wheel to start turning, but you also wish to touch a soft, puffy cloud with your very own hands. As the wheel takes you higher and higher in a smooth, soothing motion, Mickey explains why you get to have Disneyland all to yourself. He knows you are a special, kind, and loving person. You are made of magic, just like he and his club of friends. The Mickey Mouse Club of Friends spend their time spreading love and kindness. That simple act is enough to make a world full of wishes and dreams come true. The first person that needs your love and kindness, Mickey says, is you. Always remember this. Even after you take off your magical mouse ears, place your hands on your chest and allow yourself to feel the love in your heart as you float up into the sky. Take a big breath in through your nose until you cannot take in any more of the sunny air. Feel your heart beat steadily. With each beat, you have the chance to be kind to yourself. As you breathe the air out through your mouth, you notice that you are now near the top of the Ferris wheel. You can see out over the entire world, all the way to the shimmering ocean horizon. As you continue up, you look in the direction the wheel is taking you, and just as you wish, you are about to float right by a cloud. The puffy white heart-shaped cloud that you saw from the grass with Minnie is now right above you and within your reach. Gliding by on your seat with Mickey, you reach your hand out as far as you can, stretching yourself tall and taller still. You hold out your hand and scoop up a tiny part of the cloud. It feels cool and misty against your fingertips. You clasp your hand tightly and focus on holding the cloud within your palm. Gliding over the top of the wheel and heading back down to the ground, you feel a misty feeling in your palm. 
you open your hand up slowly to see a miniature heart-shaped cloud sitting still in the palm of your hand. You have your very own cloud. Hold it. Hold it against your heart and carry it with you in this world and others as a reminder of your magic. Rounding the last bit of the Ferris wheel, you can again see the ground where you hopped on. As you get closer, you see someone new sitting at the gate waiting for you. It's Pluto, Mickey's best puppy friend. His big eyes are gleaming and he's smiling big with his puppy tongue flopping out. He is so happy to see you. His droopy hanging black ears and tail stand up with excitement as the ferris wheel comes to a stop and you hop out. As you open the gate to greet Pluto, he runs in excited circles, wagging his tail and jumping up and down. He charges towards you and wraps both paws around you in a squeezing puppy hug. Mickey and Minnie join you in petting and hugging Pluto. Then suddenly Pluto takes off running. You make your way down off the Ferris wheel platform, back onto the cobblestone walkway. You three walk in the direction that Pluto ran and you can see him galloping back towards you carrying something. His flopping puppy paws run right up to you and he sits down looking at you with a frisbee clenched in his mouth. He wants to play fetch with the colorful frisbee, so you lift your hand to grab it out of his mouth. He clenches his puppy teeth down on the frisbee harder and playfully growls, tugging it back towards him. You use your other hand to grab the frisbee and pull it back again towards you, stronger this time. Mickey and Minnie are cheering and giggling watching you two. Pluto digs his paw into the ground, trying to win at this tug-of-war game, but you are stronger. You give the frisbee one last pull back towards you with all of your might, and it wiggles free. Pluto again runs in excited circles, wagging his tail and jumping up and down, waiting for you to toss the frisbee. Looking at Pluto, then in that direction that you're about to throw it, you curl the frisbee in towards you and release it into the air. It spins and spins, sailing through the sky like a shooting star. Pluto takes off running to follow it. He catches up to the frisbee and it's just above his head. Then he leaps into the air and catches it in his mouth. He falls back down to the ground and rolls in circles until he finally stops. Then he gallops his way back to you holding the frisbee. You hold out your hands for Pluto to bring it back to you. But then you see one of his droopy hanging black ears stand up like he can hear something interesting. He stops abruptly, distracted by something, and runs in another direction following the sound. You look at Mickey and Minnie, confused. Where did he go? You three follow Pluto in the direction he ran around a corner. As you round the corner, you see Pluto wagging his tail, jumping in circles in front of a giant colorful house. You walk closer and see Pluto is sitting with Goofy and this is Goofy's fun house. You walk up to the house and see a big blue mailbox with Goofy's name on it in silly, loopy letters. He's standing next to it with Pluto sitting next to him. What dog? You're here. He waves hello and says, It's nice to meet you. My name's Goofy. Goofy's house is just as goofy as he is. The steps leading up to the porch are all different shapes and sizes. So, how do you like the place? The windows are lopsided and the roof looks like it's about to slide off. You run up to Goofy in front of his silly house and give him a big, squeezing hug. He's excited to show you around his fun playhouse because there's so much to see and do. 
He opens the lopsided gate one by one. You, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto trail in. There's a beautiful garden with flowers in the front yard. You decide to walk over and pick one. There are all sorts of flowers, tall ones with small petals, short ones with big petals, and there seems to be one in every color. Do you see your favorite color? Pick your favorite color of flower and hold it tightly in your hand. As you pluck it from the ground and pull it close to you, the inside of the flower and all the petals start to spin like a windmill, faster and faster. Even the flowers are silly here. You tuck your magical flower away and continue up the uneven steps into Goofy's Playhouse. Minnie skips up the steps quickly and opens the door for everyone. Hello. Pluto rushes to get in the door first. As soon as he crosses the threshold, he begins to bounce as if the floor were a trampoline. Mickey goes through the door and does the same, as does Minnie. When it's your turn to go inside, you look at Goofy and he has a big smile on his face. It's me again. He thinks you're going to have a lot of fun. Hope you have fun today. So you take the first step in and just as you thought, Goofy's house is a bouncy house. At first you step slowly to see just how bouncy it is. You hop a little hop, then a bigger one, then a bigger one, and then the biggest one yet. Your strong hop send you up, up, up. You can almost touch the ceiling. You wonder if the ceiling is bouncy too. There's only one way to find out. On three, try bouncing yourself all the way up to the ceiling to touch it like you touched the cloud. Gosh, that's just what I wanted. One, do a little hop to get momentum. Two, do a bigger hop to get even more momentum. And three, bend your knees and jump as high as you can. You are launched off the bouncy floor all the way to the ceiling. Your hand is reached out to touch it, but you're so strong that instead, your whole body absorbs into the bouncy ceiling and it bounces you back down to the bouncy floor. You are literally bouncing off the walls in Goofy's Playhouse, having so much fun with Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Pluto. Everyone is bouncing as high as they can. Mickey and Goofy bounce together and before they go back down to the floor, they high five each other. You let your body go squishy and bounce without any effort. You bounce smaller and smaller until you're lying still on the silly floor. Goofy gets up, runs up the stairs, and asks the group to follow up. Everyone gets up and bounces their way to the stairs. Goofy's standing at a window pointing outside. You all huddle around the window to see what he's pointing to. You look out and again see a beautiful glimmering ocean with the sun setting just above the horizon. If you look closely, you can see a boat sailing into the shore. Two more of Mickey's kind friends are on the boat and you really want to meet them. But how can you get all the way over there? That's when the little quiet fireworks on your magical mouse ears burst a bit bigger and you know just what to do. You're going to bounce there. You all climb onto the roof of Goofy's Playhouse and bounce your way to the center of it. Everyone grabs each other's hands. Mickey grabs yours. You grab Mickey's and Minnie's. Minnie grabs yours and Goofy. And Goofy grabs Minnie's and one of Pluto's paws. You all begin bouncing in unison. First with little bounces, then with bigger and bigger bounces. On the biggest bounce, you close your eyes and wish for you and your friends to bounce all the way to the boat out on the ocean. 
As you sail back down, your ears sparkle and burst the most yet, just as you wished. You all sink down, down, down into Goofy's silly roof and launch yourselves through the evening sky. You are flying like a bird over the skies of Disneyland just for you. With all of your magical friends, you see the boat getting closer and closer. You hear Mickey say, and the front of the boat turns soft and plushy like cotton candy. All of you land and sink into the softness as if it were a cloud. You are all laughing and having so much fun. You prop yourself up and wonder whose boat this is. Coming from the other direction, you hear the quacking murmurs of a grumpy duck. It's Donald and Daisy Duck's boat. Donald walks over to Mickey and quacks more of his grump. You notice he's upset, so you get up to see what's wrong. Donald said that the chipmunks, Chip and Dale, hid his blue sailor's hat, and now he cannot find it. You walk over to Donald in his blue sailor suit with a bright red bow tie and give him a big hug. He smiles his beak into a little smile still grumpy about his hidden hat. You close your eyes and wish for Donald to have a new sailor's hat. Your magical mouse ears glitter, and just as you wish Donald Duck's beak smiles, a big smile as a brand new blue sailor's hat appears on his head. He's so thankful you helped him get a new hat. Now that his sailor uniform is complete, he heads back up to the captain area to sail the boat. You get a seat along the front and settle onto the soft cotton candy plushiness. You are happy to have the chance to get comfy after your adventure through Disneyland. You look to your side and see Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, and Daisy Duck. Perfect. I've been waiting just for they're all looking up at the sky with sleepy eyes. The fireworks show has started. Brilliant colors light up the nighttime sky against the backdrop of the big moon. And below, the glistening ocean waves lull you to a restful sleep. Always remember that Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>